Hi guys, it's DJ here from Cozy RC. In this video I'm going to do a power upgrade on my Cozy F1 tunnel. I got a Rocket 2948 motor, 3450 kV, and I'm going to install it on this outboard. It's currently equipped with an outrunner. This is a 2860 2800 kV Aquastar Marine. But it's old and retired, so I'm going to replace it for this motor. And I'm also going to install a new ESC because I burned down the ESC in the last run and my vintage Speedliner Corsair has the same ESC so I will take it out from here and install it in the Cozy F1 and then we can run it again. So let's go! So far so good. I installed the ESC, including the water cooling. I re-soldered the motor wires. I also added the safety loop of the plus wire of the LiPo. So looking good over here. I also disassembled the original motor. It looks much bigger than the new motor. But this part is just the fan and this part is the water cooling. So when we look at the effective parts, I think actually the rocket motor is even bigger. So next up is installing this rocket motor and the first thing I need to do is extend these motor wires because they will not reach the inputs on the hole.
I connected the LiPo, the receiver and the motor wires. So let's test it. Let's plug it in. Nice. Seems to work. Great. Alright, this is the first test with the rocket motor. The first run will be on 3S. I zeroed the GPS. Let's see what kind of speeds we can get. I got the boat back, it suddenly stopped, I don't know the reason yet, the ESC seems fine, it was absolutely moving on 4S, let's see the speed, if I can get the GPS out, maybe first I take out the LiPo. There's also some water in the hole. Eighty nine. Wow, great. Unbelievable. For such a small hole. Here we go. Eighty nine kilometers an hour on four S with the Cozy F one. That's an absolute record. The previous record was seventy eight kilometers an hour. So I really smashed it. I'm really happy with this. Now let's go to the workshop and find out why the motor stopped. Back in the workshop with the Cozy F one. I had a great run today. I broke my speed record, 89 km an hour, I'm really stoked about that, it's much faster than before. This Rocket 2948 is a real performer, I will put the link in the description. The boat suddenly stopped working and I didn't know what was the cause. The servo was still working, so I took it apart at home and uh, I tried switching the receiver, I also tried another speed controller, just connecting the motor wires to another speed controller and the motor just worked fine. So basically I broke down the issue to the speed controller. I took out the safety loop so I could take it out of the hole. And I noticed it was a little bit moist inside of the shrink wrap because one of the rubber bellows on this side was broken. So when the boat flipped water could enter through the crack in the rubber bellow into the hole. And probably it entered into the shrink wrap of the ESC. Even though it should be waterproof, it stopped working. I removed the old shrink wrap, I dried the ESC with a hairdryer and it started working again, so I'm really happy with that. I will keep out this safety loop, because this way it's easier to take out the speed controller. So I will just remove this, tidy it up a little bit. It will also give me some more room inside of the boat. Today I was running this two blade beryllium prop. It's a 36 1.4 pitch prop. It's not the fastest prop, but the steering with this prop is awesome. 
but that means I think I can even beat the 89 kilometers an hour. How awesome would it be if I can reach 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles an hour with this 22 inch or 60 centimeter hole. So in one of my latest orders, I got this aluminium prop. It's also a 36 1.4 pitch prop, but it has different blade, slightly different blade design. So I will try this. This is the prop. Now what's really interesting about this prop, this is an aluminium CNC prop, but if you look at the edges, you can see that it's sharpened. And I've never seen that with any CNC aluminium prop before. So this blade is really sharp. You can cut your finger with it. So I don't think I need any work on this. And I'm really curious how the performance of this prop will be. So next time out, I will try this prop with the rocket motor and I hope for a new speed record, maybe 100 kilometers an hour. That would be awesome. All right. I hope to see you next time. Bye.